What's going on guys, it's Josh here with Get Hooked, and uh, today I am doing a video on my top 10 favorite lures and baits. So to start off, for those of you who are wondering what my like, combo I use, I have an Abu Garcia Silver Max with 50 pound braid because I, I do a lot of top water fishing and like flipping and stuff like that. So yeah, and then I have a 7 foot, I think. Abu Garcia Villain Rod Next Generation. So, uh, yeah, I really like Abu Garcia rods. Not so much their reels. I'm gonna start buying lubes a lot more. But I mean, I all my reels so far have been Abu Garcia. Okay, so I don't really have these in order. I should though. Okay, I'll get back to you when I have them in order. Okay. So so I have them in order now. So number one will be something I got in my mystery tackle box. It's a Yozuri 3D minnow. Looks like that. It's really good. I love it. It's got a nice little lip, which is good because the pond I fish at is really shallow. It's a nice little lip and uh, overall great bait if you can pick one up. Number two, I have a... Lucky Strike Life Series swim bait in uh, pumpkin seed, bluegill, and uh, it's about thirteen dollars, I think. It has an amazing swimming action, and uh, it is amazing. Like all this here is rubber; it feels real, so and it swims really good. So that's number two. Number three is something I just picked up yesterday. But I was uh, using it all day yesterday too, and I love it. And uh, so it's a live target field mouse right here. Top water. It's really good. Number four will be the live target smelt minnow. Smelt. This is really good. I've caught a four pound four pounder on this and lots of little dings. That's number five. Okay, so now we have all soft plastic except for one. So number six is something I also got in my mystery tackle box and that's the Rain's bubbling shaker. Bubbering. It says bubbering but everywhere else I've seen bubbling. But yeah, like that. They're Japanese. I got it in my mystery tackle box. They're great on drop shots, so yeah, I only have two left, which is sad. Okay, the last hard bait. I have a Zara Spook right here for top water. Yeah, I think it's in a bullfrog or something color, I forget. Right there. Great top water bait, I love it. So yeah, I think that was like 13, 14, 12, I don't know. One, two, three, four, five, six. Moving on to number seven are the Yum Dinger Craw Poppies. Uh, great for spring fishing when the water opens, and I love them. I have um, three packs. I have them in a crawdad. I have them in a peanut butter and jelly right there, and I have them in a green pumpkin right there. So I use these with a four rod hook. Yeah, they're really good. Um, now onto number seven. Seven? No, eight. Yeah, eight. I got zoom, zoom flukes right here. I have a, I have a few more, but I really like these uh, green pumpkin ones. I'll show you my super flukes. Yeah. Green pumpkin with a chartreuse tail. Great. And then I have just the flute and just green watermelon or green pumpkin, I should say. Like that. So they're really good on drop shots and uh, yeah. Going on to number nine, I have the Yum Dinger. Four inch, right? I don't 
don't know. I'm trying to read. Doesn't say. A lot of did. You don't. Whatever. Pretty sure it's four inch. Five. I don't know. And green pumpkin and chartreuse tail. Really good for when they're not biting on like bigger Senkos. Or if you're using like a big Senko, like a seven inch Senko, and you get lots of takes, but you're not catching any fish, look at the tail. And if you see like a almost like sandpaper, if you got sandpaper and you just like did that on it and it's all like frayed up, then you know they're just taking a little bit. So that's why I bought these because I kept having me. But with these, they I catch them every time. And my very last bank is the Yum Lizard and Carolina Pumpkin Chartreuse right here. Really good for just like flipping heavy cover. Excuse me. And uh, yeah, and it's good for any time of year. And uh, yeah, they're really cheap. They're only three forty nine for a ten pack. So uh, that's actually really good. So yeah, that's it for my 10 baits. Oh, and I also really like jitterbugs. I just picked up this tiny one yesterday. I caught a five pounder on it. You'll probably see that video Saturday. That'll look forward to that video. Saturday, you'll see me catch a five pounder. And uh, yeah. Let's see. Let's see if there's any other lures. Well, I'm at it. I mean, 10's n never enough. Uh, no, 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 no. So, yeah, there's tons more lures in here that I like. Another one that I like would be the KVD Square Bill Crankbait in, sh in uh, Shad. I think it's in Shad. Yeah. It's great fall time bass lure. It's great. Um, then we got the. Oh, what was it called? Oh, I forget what it starts with an S. Let's say it. Oh yeah, Sebel. Sebel? Sebel? Bull crank. I got this out of my mystery tackle box. It's supposed to run the six, 12 to 16 feet, but if you reel it slow, you can run it at like one foot. So it's really good. It has really strong action. So it triggers bites. And then I got my... That was close. Um, oh, how is this possible? That is not kind of possible. Sorry, one sec. Okay, that's the bull tank. Two more lures I like is I got the uh, Rapala Fire Tiger Minnow. Here. It's really good. So, yeah. And then, uh, this is probably it. I got the Matsuo. Uh, That's all it said, really. Lure. Dives deep. Wanna see that? The gills pop out. Gives it a really nice wobble. And, uh, got a nice rattle. Which is, uh, which is good. So, that'll be it for this video. If you like it, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Uh, if you have any ideas for future videos, just leave a comment in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, keep fishing, guys. See ya.